So welcome back guys to Alaska. Hope everyone is well. We are fixing the pipeline. Remember that uh, annoying bit of pipe that was broken and basically stopped us from getting past? Well, hopefully we can fix it today. It's a pretty simple task. Uh, we have to pick up some spare parts, which are just over here, and go back and deliver them. And then the pipe should be fixed, hopefully. Fingers crossed. If it all goes to plan, that is. Normally, with these sort of easier jobs, something goes wrong, we flip the truck, or something blows up. <laughs> I don't know. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, but if you guys could be awesome, leave a like some comments below. I appreciate all the love and support. Let's load it up. Spare parts perfect. Need two of these. And now we go to the pipeline. Get that pipe fixed. So this was a urgent request from, is it Blackbird? Yes. So we've got an urgent contract for you. Local fuel company is building a pipeline and they've just hired us as a subcontractor. Deliver everything needed fast, as fast as possible. Don't mess about. Uh, I've been driving this Polestar in the snow and it's actually not bad. It's not bad at all. I would argue it might be better than the Hummer. How that makes sense, I don't know. But, yeah. <laughs> it just, that's just what happens. Just, that, that's how it is, I guess. But yeah, we definitely still need those, those chain tires at some point. But for now, we'll focus on this pipeline construction. Try and get some things ticked off. So, what I'm going to do quickly, actually, is go to the global map. Uh, do, 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 oh no, correction. I want to go to here. So Alaska is where we currently are. So there's, ah, vehicles opened. One out of three. So there's two more vehicles to find. Does that make sense? I don't know if that does make sense or not. Vehicles opened. Because I've discovered two vehicles, right? I guess the Hummer perhaps didn't count as a vehicle opened or a vehicle that we found in expiration. It was all given to us almost, I guess. So there's still two more vehicles to find in the whole of Alaska. That's all four maps. So yeah, ideally we want to find all the three vehicles, of course. That is the plan. Right, the pipeline is just down here. Let's get to it. I don't know if it's because of the crane perhaps, but the fuel does seem to be going down very quickly. I mean, the crane's probably quite heavy. But it might be useful for certain tasks, so I'll keep it for now. We can always take it off, put it back on again. It doesn't matter. Right, let's put all-wheel drive on. Even with all-wheel drive turned off, it was still moving pretty well. This is a very, very impressive truck. I'm impressed. Um, also, if you guys are watching this um, and enjoying the series, I appreciate all the likes. All the support if you guys aren't sub subscribed to the channel uh please do <laughs> sometimes i speak english oh god cargo management spare parts delivered there we go that that was a good one to do very very good i'm happy with that and there is an oil tanker here and also an upgrade part so we might do that now as well let's try and go for the upgrade first it looks like it's coated in water there's water surrounding it, but that will not stop the Polestar. No, no, no. Definitely won't. Definitely won't. Do we need to go down this? Uh, yeah, this goes somewhere else. Let's go this way then. All-wheel drive is definitely necessary right now. You look at the amount of fuel. Was that 17 litres per minute? That's a lot. That is a serious amount. Let's go down here. Let's get this upgrade. Hopefully it's for the, the Hummer. That's what I want right now. A differential for the Hummer. That'd be great. Coming through. It doesn't take any damage as well, this vehicle. It just seems to hit stuff and it just doesn't care. It must have an insane durability. Oh. <laughs> Again, it still did not care there. Oh, this is fairly deep. And can we grab it? 
got it. A raised suspension. What is it for, though? All right, the Freightliner M916A1. What a name. First one to spot the tanker gets a prize. I'm joking. That, that, I, I, how would I even do that? I don't know. But I think I can, yeah, I can see it. Definitely see it. Let's see if we can try and grab it. Where is the connection point? I'm sure there's a word for it, but I don't know it. That looks deep. Maybe I can try and winch it out. Is that even possible? Uh, would that even benefit us in any way? I don't know. How deep is this? I guess we're going to find out. Oh, God. Please don't be too deep. Oh, 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 oh. It's pretty deep. <laughs> I can confirm it's pretty deep. Uh, lock the diff. Please don't get stuck. That would suck so bad. Maybe I should have winched it. Hindsight is a beautiful thing, isn't it? It really is. Attach. It's attached. And now we have to go all the way to here, I guess. Let's make sure this is a set task. Off-road truck is recommended. Ew. I guess this is an off-road truck, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Set there's another point. So we've got a nice little trail here, but obviously we're sort of stuck currently in the water. So we can try and get out as soon as possible. That'd be great. Yeah, look at this. And let's go. Steer as soon as possible. Oh, that is deep. That is deep. That is deep. It's fine. It's fine. Whew. That got scary briefly. When you see those like red symbols pop up, Anything that red pops up on the screen is just terrifying, basically. You don't want to. You don't want to hear about it. You, just, you don't want. You don't care. Can we keep going here? There we go. There's the horn. I think there's a slight rock. There's a big rock there, actually. That's what we've hit. Great. Yeah, sound that horn in celebration. There we go. That's a perfect example of trying to look in. Try and look at what's in front of you. Obviously, I didn't do that. I <laughs> just. Went straight into a big fat rock. Not advisable. Keep this going. Yes! My little pole star. Yes! Keep pulling it. Keep going. There we go. It's fine. I, I, I must admit, I think this might be better than the Hummer. I know the Hummer was pretty cool. Again, with the differential, maybe it's more usable, but I think this truck's better, actually. An actual truck, off-road truck, is better than a Hummer. Madness. I mean, look how deep we're going. It doesn't care, though. These aren't even mud tires. Keep going! Yes. We will deliver. We will deliver. It's what we do best. Oh, this is actually quite thick snow here. This will be interesting. Will it get stuck? Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Again, how good does this game look? I am constantly impressed. Ooh. Ooh. Hesitation there. It's still moving, though. And when we are pulling a massive oil tanker. I'll try and grab onto something. Yeah. Keep me moving, keep me moving. There we go. Slightly lower gear. It's still moving. It's still moving. Come on! <laughs> I realise that fuel is already like super low. Scarily low. That's it, come on. I believe in you. So, yeah, so that um, truck we got in the last episode, the Royal M BM17, I think it's called. It was actually an off-road truck. Didn't realise. But it doesn't have a differential. I find that a bit weird. But, yeah, it is an off-road truck, so we might keep it. We might get rid of the... Uh, my original truck, the Fleet Star, is it? I might get rid of it. I might sell it. We'll see. 
We will see, we will see. I'm trying to avoid those rocks. That's it. We can do this. Not far to go now. Once we get rid of it, nice bit of money, a little bit of XP, and a lot lighter again. So that'd be a good plus. Massive plus. Uh, if we get stuck here, we may have issues. So let's fully focus here. That tree just came straight down. Great. That tree should have moved. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why if the crane can do anything? I don't know why the crane could do anything, but you never know. Could it, like, push us, maybe? Is that, is that pushing us a little bit? Maybe? It actually helped. But I should definitely restore the crane right now before it completely just snaps off. It sort of helps us move a little bit. At least I think so. It helped a bit. The crane actually helped. Yes! We're saved. We're saved. We're saved. We're saved. Woo! It was actually going pretty well. Again, I think it's just the fact there was a lot of mud. There was like two wheels up in the air. Yeah, it just we were struggling badly. But apart from that, we went pretty well. Oh, it's just a gas stop. Perfect. We're actually running very low on gas, so that suits us down to a T. We have arrived. We did it. It was a struggle, but we did it. It was a big struggle. <laughs> I'm here with your gas. Whoa. What happened there? That's never happened before. I think I damaged my gearbox. I think I was over accelerating with the differential. Whoops. Yeah, we did it. Whoop, whoop. Not bad, not bad. Good job, good job. So next up, Port Polar Base Supply. We've got a bunch of Brainiac scientists fellas that get kicks out of drilling holes into ice. They happen to be big customers of ours. Okay. They ask for something, you deliver. You dig, question mark. So we need fuel. Metal planks and bricks. Luckily, we're actually at the fuel station right now. So, I might as well accept it. Might as well grab some fuel as well. And get to it. What I could probably do is reverse into that. Grab the fuel. Drop it off. Go and get some bricks and then some metal planks. And then we're done. This is a big delivery though. Might want to get a big, big trailer. Potentially. Potentially. Let's get to it. They want delivery, and we deliver. These are scientists. They're probably doing it for a reason. Probably trying to work out... I don't know. They can tell a lot of history through digging quite low in the ice. There's quite a lot of um, details and history and DNA and stuff like that. DNA? I might have made that up. <laughs> Potentially. There's a lot of stuff frozen below. Deep below. Contains a lot of information. Let's zoom out a little bit. So we need to get across this water. Uh, keep going and then turn left. Got it. Water over road. Yes, I did notice that. How deep is this water? Out of interest. It's not too bad. But the, you can definitely feel the stream as well. You can see the, the truck like getting hit. And it's sort of almost like trying to go left. Stop it! Stop it, physics! Screw you! <laughs> yeah, let's drop out the fuel first. Not sure about the metal planks. Don't know where we can find those. But I'm pretty sure the factory should have, which is over here, actually very, very close, should have the bricks. Guess we'll find out. I mean, bricks take up four slots anyway, so we can't really fit metal planks and bricks on at the same time, which I know sucks, but there we go. It's getting a bit snowy down here. 
Yeah, keep going and turn left. Let's drop off the fuel. I'm guessing the drill needs fuel, so this is what's going to fuel that. I know. I'm very brainy. I'm fully aware. Yeah, train like this, the pole start. The pole, yeah, it is the pole start. Um, seems to cope fairly well. Fairly well indeed. It's when it gets a bit snowy, a bit uneven. That's when it can start to struggle a little bit. So we turn in left here. Yep. We're heading to town. And there's where the factory is. 35 miles an hour. I think you're safe. <laughs> I think you're safe. You should be alright. Yeah, it, it dominates these conditions. Absolutely dominates. Bit of a hill here, so I've just turned down the gears a little bit. Go on! There we go. Lock the diff. Oh, it goes. It goes. It doesn't hesitate. It loves it. Oh, there's a trailer over there. That could be useful. Um, oh, is that the abandoned suppliers? Ah. That is tempting. So, uh, somehow... Is it in the middle of a lake? You really get that. Oh. Talking of um, water. <laughs> Why? I swear that's not on the map. I mean, it is a little bit. I'd say that's false advertising myself. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, hello. Calm down, calm down. There's a massive ditch there. The front wheel just went... Boom, just dropped. How can I get those? So this is the, the polar base. Again, this is only objective one, fuel. Still got a little way to go yet. I don't think it's stuck, is it? We are pretty deep here, aren't we? <laughs> What's just happened? Why have we just sunk so much? You can do it. There we go. And again. Can you try and pull yourself out now? Come on! There we go. Yes. Whew. It's not easy getting to this, uh, this polar base. It's time to sound the horn. We have arrived. Yeah, you got really muddy there. Again, we was probably completely fine, and then bam! All of a sudden... We uh, have a slight issue. What's this one? Contract? Hello, my name's Robert. A big fancy new pipeline is being built in the area. Uh, one of the subcontractors operating logistics has lost a section of pipe. We need to. We need a, a driver, sorry, that can help recover it. Ah, I'm guessing that would involve a crane. I'm not sure when you need a heavy crane or when you need this crane. Um, doesn't really say. This says. We need a crane. Uh, okay, I've got a crane, but is this crane good enough? Because a heavy crane takes up the whole, the whole back end, basically. First drop off. Here's your fuel. It's been a pleasure. Job done. Cargo management, done. Goodbye, fuel. Now we'll head back to the factory. What does the factory contain? Let's find out. I'm guessing bricks. Ah, oh, it's actual metal planks. Okay, I'll take that back. So metal planks are there. So we can grab those. Probably worth bringing them back. And then what about... Is it warehouse for bricks? Yeah, warehouse for the bricks. Okay. Righty then, we have the metal planks. Lovely. 
have noticed maybe, I mean, the fuel's down to 50%. So going all the way down to the warehouse might be... Oh, one sec, there's a warehouse there. Okay, that makes it easier. It might be doable. I mean... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, that went fairly well. Took a slightly different route. And maybe the, the metal planks are slightly less weight. I don't know, but absolutely destroyed that. Much quicker. I guess I'm learning. I'm, looking, I'm learning different routes we can take. That'll make sense. We sort of learn the train as we go. Even if we do make the train actually worse. Again, the physics and how the map sort of develops as you play is very, very impressive. I really I love this game. I love it. Absolutely love it. I think we're going to need fuel before we can keep on trucking. Uh, we've only got 82 litres left. Yeah, we need fuel. Definitely need fuel, annoyingly. But at least the second objective has been ticked off, almost. Almost. <laughs> almost there. Done! So all we need now is bricks. Yeah, I think we need fuel. There's no point in risking it. It's still a fairly long way to the warehouse. It's not just around the corner. So, yeah. Back to the fuel station. Right, so I bought myself a little sideball trailer from the factory. Obviously, we, we want to take four bricks, and I don't have enough space for that. So the warehouse is all the way over here. So let's set up like a sort of very brief, easy route for us to take. Filled up as well. So we should have enough. We've got 208 litres of fuel remaining. And we've got four slots available for the bricks. All going well. We should be home soon. Mama, I'm coming home. No, probably not. Maybe a little while yet. <laughs> Alright, let's go into... Are we good? No. Differential. Lock it up. When it starts to struggle, just lock the diff and start to climb. This is quite hilly, actually. Oh, it's a moon! Well, at least when I come back, I'm going downhill. I guess that's a plus. Jesus. That was hilly. So that is the, the sawmill. For wood, of course. So... A good reference point if we need it. Uh, let's, come, let's, let's get rid of the diff briefly. I feel like if you use the diff a bit too much, it does seem to damage the gearbox quite a bit. But we do seem to be struggling without the diff on this train. Probably due to the trailer, I'd imagine. Yeah, the trailer's probably slowing us down a little bit. But again, it saves us having to do two journeys. It'll be such a waste of time doing two journeys there and back. It takes so long. Just for some bricks. No. Not about that life. Hello, Sawmill. I'm sure I'll come and visit you one day. I have no doubt. Right, let's look at the map. See, this bit we haven't actually explored yet. There's one more watchtower to get, which is just there. Let's try and nab that at some point. Yeah, I'm definitely pleased we uh, we fueled up. Even with fueling up, we might still struggle with fuel. I know. We should be alright, but... Probably have like 60 litres left when we return. Potentially. It's getting a little bit toasty. The diff's getting a little bit toasty. Sorry, diff. You are 100% necessary. We're getting bogged down so much. Come on! High gear? <laughs> that seems like a terrible idea. I mean, look at the fuel now. I'm pretty sure at one second there, it, it hit 19. 19 litres per minute. This is a thirsty girl, that's for sure. Thirsty. Loves a good drink. I have to get drunk. Water over road. Yay. Fantastic. Can't wait. And there's not much stuff to winch onto if we get stuck. Lovely. You good, trailer? It's good. Just a 
about to squeeze through that. So there should be a sign. Hopefully warehouse to the left. Factory to the left, really. Yeah, so we go right and then left. Got it. Yeah, warehouse right. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. It's so muddy. I swear, if you invested in decent roads, you might get more uh, more contracts. More people coming by and wanting to work for you or pick up stuff. You don't make it easy, do you? Don't make it easy at all. We're getting stuck again, aren't we? I don't want to lock the diff. I don't want to do it. I'm trying to avoid it. Oh, is it more water? <laughs> Why? This map definitely feels harder. Definitely the hardest map I think we've done so far. I mean, the snow is obviously a factor, but even the water and mud alone is bad enough. It really is. It really is. Yeah, this looks deep. Oh, 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 oh. You good, trailer? These bricks cannot be wet. No, I'm sure it's fine, actually. Oh, a little bit dangerous there. Just for a very brief millisecond. Oh, and again, and again, and again, and again. We're good, we're good, we're good. We've done it. There's the warehouse. Oh, finally. Finally. Yes. I'm coming, Morse code! Get the bricks ready! I'm coming! Yeah! <laughs> uh, yeah, thank God we fueled up. Jeez Louise. This is one's thirsty, thirsty girl. Very thirsty indeed. We're not even there yet. What I might do, once we arrive, I might skip time. Almost like we're taking a rest. So it skips the morning. I've tackled the night enough now. <laughs> I want to move on. I want to be able to see what I'm doing. So all going well. We can now pick up all bricks right now. Hopefully. Not metal pipes. I want bricks. Lots of bricks. Uh, bricks, bricks, bricks. There we go. Um, oh, trailer, there we go. Yes! Four bricks. Ready to go. Let's get it done. Oh, is that a tanker over there? Ooh. It is. Oh, can we fuel up? I just realised we can fuel up. Of course we can. Let's do it. New trailer discovered. It's now morning. We had a nice little sleep. We're now filled up. A bit of coffee. Full English breakfast. Let's get to it. Yummy, yum, yum. I can't actually remember the last time I had a McMuffin or a full English, full English breakfast. I know. What is my life? It's a lot of differential. So far, so good. It's going pretty well. I'm happy with the progress. I guess the only issue right now is the trailer tipping over and then you may hear a man cry, potentially. That's that's the worst thing that could happen. <laughs> Apart from that though, we're pretty good. Saying that, the polar base is still pretty tricky, isn't it? There's water around, there's a lot of mud. We could easily, easily get stuck. So this is far from over. Still got quite a long way to go. I'm going past the sawmill, then past the factory. And then we get to the polar base, so it's not quite over yet, but we are we are getting there. I keep trying to turn the diff off, but progress just slows right down because it is just so muddy. And this is a lot of weight. Four lo four lots of bricks is heavy, very heavy. Progress was never never going to be quick. Choo choo. I wonder what is the most heaviest thing you can pull in this game. 
I'm guessing it's like a drill or something like that. Potentially, or... I'm trying to think, what's, what's a really heavy substance? Concrete blocks could be really heavy, actually. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Keep chugging along. I must admit, this guy works hard. The guy driving this truck. It, I want to take all the credit, but I'm not sure I really can. He's a hard working man. He earns every dollar. Every dollar. Every scrap of that dollar he earns. No doubt about that. No doubt about that. I'm trying to get out of my original tracks. I'm trying to make new tracks. Look at how it deforms. It's crazy how good this game is. So good. And there is the factory. And we're going downhill. Okay, gotta be careful here, actually. I know downhill sounds great, but easily lose the trailer. And we don't want that. Taking it very easy. Easy does it. You should probably go into low gear. Just to try and stop that rotation a little bit on the wheel. It was fine. It was fine. It wasn't too steep. Whew. Hello, factory. Guess who's back? Well, so the next exit after the factory is the polar base. We have the bricks. We don't mess about. No, we don't. Can we struggle through this? We can for now. But when it gets to the water, that's the, the scary bit now, is that water. That terrifies me so much. So much. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm almost there. This is another very, very ambitious mission. And we are slowly, slowly getting there. Slowly. If we do this, it's been a very, very good episode. Very good episode. Very productive. And what more can you ask for? What more can you ask for? Well, right, here comes the water. The route I take with the water is so important because I can easily get stuck. So I need to be in full focus mode. Just try and not go near that big fat sharp rock on the left. But try and get close to it if you can. Like so. And there's a lot more grip over this side. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. I was worried about that bit. It was fine though. It was all good. It was chilled. It was just chilled. Guess who's arrived? <laughs> Subtle as ever. Meh, meh. Flashing those lights as well. Midi celebrations. Well, there's a big fat bed of snow right where we drop off the materials. So, put the diff on. See where we've previously been. And we have made it. Yes! Haha! <laughs> $3,500 and 400 XP. That is what I'm talking about. That was good work. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.